Hello everyone, welcome to Jets TV. Please comment, rate, subscribe guys, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos as well. Uh, for those of you who do watch and share my videos, man, you guys are greatly appreciated. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get into my recap of the NFC Championships and the AFC Championships, the conference picks. This is my recap of my conference picks, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First game, Green Bay Packers, Seattle Seahawks. I took the Seattle Seahawks in this game, and that got me a win. Green Bay Packers 22, Seattle Seahawks 28. This was a very hard-fought game. And let me tell you something. Early, the Seahawks' offense was terrible. The Seahawks' defense really kept them in this game. At one point in this game, the Packers led 16-0, to okay? 16-0. to And it looked like they were just, they were trying to pull away, but the, the Seahawks' defense was just, just holding them and holding them and holding them. And just kept them within range. But, but you know, Seattle's offense was trash. But, but the, like I said, the defense just kept holding them. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, he had a pretty decent day. He was hobbled still. Uh, you, could, you could see that. But he had a pretty decent day still. He was 19 to 34, 178 yards throwing the ball. He also had a TD. He had two interceptions. Uh, Eddie Lacy, he had an okay day on the ground as well. 21 carries and 73 yards. Jordy Nelson had five catches for 71 yards. Uh, Randall Cobb even got into it. He had seven catches for 62 yards. He also had a touchdown. Um, you know, so Green Bay was just doing what they needed to do. But then all of a sudden, in the fourth quarter, Seattle's Seattle's offense kind of came alive, okay? Uh, got to the point where, you know, Marshawn Lynch was just carrying the load, okay? That guy had a big day. He had 25 carries for 157 yards and a TD. Um, you know, he was the guy that actually tied up the game. At one point, uh, you know, the game was 19-14. Green Bay was ahead. Marshawn, boom, gets a big-time run. Uh, he scores. They go ahead. It's 19 to 22. Seahawks are up. Uh, you know, uh, the Packers were down and we're all like, whoa, it's it's over. It's pretty much said and done. The Seahawks have come back. Well, Aaron Rodgers was able to get the Green Bay Packers back down, you know, back down the field and we're able to get a, a field goal out of Crosby that tied it up 22 to 22. So you go into the fourth quarter. Like I said, Russell Wilson had looked pretty bad in this game. At one point, uh, he had thrown a bunch of balls, and he only had six completions. He was 14-29 on the day. He had 209 yards throwing the ball, had a TD, and he had four interceptions. Four interceptions. He was, Like I said, he was killing the Seahawks on the day. So they go into overtime. Uh, you know, it's tied up 22-22. Seahawks get the ball. Boom. Big time bomb from Russell Wilson. Jermaine Curse catches the ball. It's a 35-yard pass. Touchdown. Seahawks win the game. It was just, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Russell Wilson played terrible in this game. He played terrible, but you know what? He came up big when it mattered. Uh, and I guess that's all that mattered. I mean, Doug Baldwin had six catches. He had 106 yards. Uh, Curse, as I spoke of, the guy that actually caught the, the game winner in overtime, he had one catch. He had one catch. That touchdown catch was his only catch of the game. One catch for 35 yards, and that was the TD that won the game for him. So the Seahawks really slid by in this game. Salutes to them. Uh, they won the game, and that got me a win as well. So they'll be in the Super Bowl. Congrats to all the Seahawks fans that messaged me and watched me. Congrats to you guys. Last but not least, Colts, Patriots. Colts, 7, Patriots, 45. I chose the Patriots. That got me a win. This wasn't even a close game. <laughs> this was a game. It was kind of just like I thought it was going to be. You know, I mean, Andrew Luck looked confused all day. He was 12 of 33. He had 126 yards throwing the ball. He had two interceptions. Uh, Heron, you're like, this guy, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. You know, one week he's a stud running back. The next week you barely hear from him. I mean, he had 10 carries for 51 yards. You know, T.Y. Hilton had one catch for 36 yards. I mean, the Colts' offense was just trash. The defense looked confused as well. The, the Patriots just schemed up and dominated them. Tom Brady, as usual, 23 of 35, 226 yards on the ball. He had three TDs, one interception. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt had 30 carries for 148 yards. He had three TDs. I mean, Edelman had nine catches for 98 yards. I mean, come on. It was just all Patriots all day. <laughs> It, just it's so much disappointment. I thought it would be a little bit of a better game, but like I said, they schemed up for Andrew. He looked like he had no clue what was going on out there, and it just it showed. So, hats off to the Patriots fans. <laughs> I chose you guys. That got me a win. You guys are in the Super Bowl. So, you know, it looks like Seattle Patriots Super Bowl time. So, you know, 
that's all for today. I want you guys to stay tuned, guys. My uh, Super Bowl predictions picks are coming. Um, they'll be up soon. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Peace.